Cleary. I am a third year medical student doing my elective right now. I know it's kind of backwards because you're supposed to do your electives in fourth year, but you know, COVID. So right now I'm doing my electrocardiogram elective. It's four weeks. And it's a little bit more, I'm doing it with UM, so we're doing simulations, so it's not just reading the tiny little boxes, it's also doing like what, it's, what you'll see on a patient. It's really interesting, I'm, I'm glad that I'm doing it because if you know electrocardiograms, you know, at least for me, I would learn it and forget it almost immediately because you really only learn the basics, and then with that, you're just like, okay. So I'm gonna show you kind of what we do in the day for this. It, is, it usually takes all day. I tend to start around nine, classes at 10 for two hours, then I have another lecture, then you have the simulations, then you have a quiz and blah, blah, blah. But it's really ingrained in my, in my mind. I can read an EKG pretty quickly now, so I'm really happy about that. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> So this is where the magic happens. It's a very small part of my apartment. That used to be, whenever I was taking step one, that used to essentially be my desk and then I decided that I really needed a desk. And usually I like to use a uh, natural light, but right now it's very gloomy outside. So let's turn this bad boy on. And this is, I love to have my little to-do list because otherwise I get absolutely nothing done. And then this is my little step two book, laptop, headphones, because I really need the noise canceling ones. And now I'm trying to really hone my Spanish. Like these are all the words that I feel like we use a lot whenever we're doing interviews. And then this is the, the heart axis, because I'm still trying to get down, be quick with like the zero, whatever. I like to make sure that I'm as comfy as possible. So I have my little heating pad and my big blankie. And then I have my dog's bed next to me so that he can always hang out. He's right over there. I always like to light a candle to set the mood. I don't know why I love this guy. He reminds me of a little baby taser, but it's perfect for lighting candles. So this is today, the 24th. I like to have kind of a couple days to see what I've gotten done and as you can see, the 23rd wasn't as great. 22nd was pretty good. So I'm hoping the 24th is just as good. And I like to just write down everything, even like basic human stuff, like cook chickpeas or sometimes I'll write clean or something. Makes me feel like I accomplished more or makes me feel a little less overwhelmed because I have everything written down. I know I'm going to get it done. So in the morning, I like to do Noom, which is like a healthy weight loss kind of thing. I've been doing it for a little while. Elevate I love because it is kind of keeping my brain fresh like I feel like I forget how to do math sometimes and speak well and writing and all of that sometimes I feel like I lose that when I'm only focusing on science and you know medicine and then headspace is a meditation app I like to do that 10 minutes a day these are all ideal you know like working out in Spanish too these things I like to do in the morning and just get it done with but you know, that's kind of my perfect day, not necessarily every day. So boop, boop, boop. Got those three done, still have a lot more to go. So as you can tell, this elective is online. Um, I did say it's an EKG one, an EKG elective, but it's overall mostly cardiology in general like we're doing the simulation. So we're learning auscultation, which is honestly my worst part because to me, everything sounds the same almost, but you have to know if it's a blah, 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 or a blah, blah, blah. Like it's, it's kind of ridiculous to try to figure it out. But I mean, it's very important. Of course we have to know it. Otherwise we could miss a lot. So I'm happy that I'm learning it, but but I've noticed that I'll just sit there with my headphones just listening to the same sound over and over again and trying my best to visualize it. So hopefully by the end of this course, I'll get it down. We shall see. But we just finished a little two-hour class, and that's literally going over 10 EKGs. We spent a whole two hours on that. So it's really funny to see because in the beginning of the 
four weeks, everyone was a lot better. I, I guess like everyone was pretty well dressed. And I mean, I'm, I'm probably the worst example because in the beginning I was wearing like, or a, I, I don't know if I wore my white coat, but I was in front of the, the, in front of my camera looking proper and now I'm just in my pajamas. So, but everyone else kind of did the same thing. <laughs> Little Nico always makes me feel bad. <laughs> He always knows exactly at like 12 o'clock that, <laughs> that I'm supposed to be done and I'm supposed to give him attention. So he makes me get up and love on him, which I appreciate. But it is hard to remember to go outside sometimes. Like it's been a while since it's been since like, ooh, I don't know how many days it is since I've been outside. I have my little patio, but that doesn't really count. So the best I'm going to do today is go to the office where I have my food, like the um, kind of postal office um, for my building. And that's going to be my outside time, my little walk. And it's literally like the next building over, but I'm counting it. I went outside, okay? And it's really interesting because... I am in a class, but I am definitely the bottom of the food chain, I guess you would say, in that a lot of the people um, that I'm with are, because it's an elective, um, I'm with a lot of fourth years and a lot of, or not a lot of, but like a, a couple residents. So there's only 33 people in the class, but I don't see any other third years. So a lot of them have seen a million EKGs and they already get the gist of it. So you can tell that they're not really doing the homework either because we're supposed to do the homework, which takes a while. And when we reach the end of class and we're at number 10, it's always like pulling teeth to get someone to volunteer to read the EKG. <laughs> so I tend to volunteer because I am working hard to do it. But I understand why these people aren't really doing the homework or doing anything because they're like, well, I've already seen this a million times. Some of them, I think, are even cardiologists at this point. Like they're just in there. They're not cardiologists yet, but they're training to be. So they're just over it. <laughs> so, and I mean, they get it down pretty easily. They're listing all the clinical correlations and I'm still having issues with like remembering because he'll ask like, what clinical issue? Like what, cause I'm just getting understanding. Okay, this is a right bundle, whatever. Woo, I, I figured it out. And then, the, then he's like, okay, what causes that? And I'm like, ooh, I totally forgot. And that's what they, like everyone else is really good at. So ooh, it's, it's a little, uh, nerve wracking, I guess, to be working with people that are, are like in a course as I mean, eventually I'm going to be dealing with a lot of physicians, attendings, residents, blah, blah, blah. But it's just hard when you're learning the same thing or going over the same thing, you know. But luckily tomorrow I'm going to the neurology clinic because I still do research and volunteer there. Um, so that's what I'm doing every Friday, luckily. So I can still have some patient experience and still be sane, still practice my hands-on clinical stuff. I mean, I've gotten the neuro exam down pretty well. I'm really happy about that. But yeah, let's get back to it. I can't believe I'm going to be 23 in a couple of days. Or, yeah, less than a week. Ooh, March 1st. Woo but don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. We're making more videos. I already made uh, another one involving my research that I do at Cleveland Clinic. And I did my little COVID video. I do a lot. I put a lot of info out there. And I'm kind of fun. I like to be real. So if you like that, don't forget to do all that stuff. So this is my lunch because I'm a busy psychopath. <laughs> and I just wanted to kind of take you through one of the, the first EKGs we did, which was normal. So we, we literally spend like two hours going over 10 of these. These are the 10 that we went over. We really try to go through and dissect it. Sorry, Nico's eating, so he's making some growling sounds. <laughs> so what I really appreciate about this course is that it really like kind of has trained me to, okay, I see something weird in one. That means I have to look at AVL. Okay, I see something weird in lead two, that means I have to look in three. And also, like, if you, if I see something weird with the P waves, that means I have to look over at V1. Like, I feel like that's, I feel like before I would look at a, a EKG and kind of think, like, okay, something's wrong here, I just don't know what. And now I am able to see, like, okay, I see something wrong here, I look over here. 
And so I've finally been able to really like understand or like just be able to do it a lot quicker, at least like even the the stuff that I never thought I would be able to understand, like we are just getting to the arrhythmias, but I've been able to understand like left atrial, right atrial, hypertrophy, um, all the hemi blocks, those are crazy. The hemi blocks and the left and right bundle branch. Like I know that if you have an uh, any kind of atrial, you're gonna look here and at V1, and you'll be able to see if you have a left or right atrial abnormality. Um, if you aren't sure if you have a kind of hemi block, you're gonna look at one in AVL. And then if they look weird, you look at these. If you think you have a excess deviation, you look at one and two and possibly AVF. Like there's just a lot of cool tricks that I've finally been able to learn. And then if I find that there's a left bundle branch, now, okay, I have to look at V6 and V5. Like it's just, I'm really happy with how quickly I'm able to kind of dissect it on my own. And even though we're spending literally two hours looking at EKGs, I'm pretty, I'm able to do it pretty quickly. It's just, it's nice that, but the professor is so passionate about it that he like will look at every single tiny box and really dissect it, which is good. I feel like I'm learning a lot. And then I'm trying to kind of do one pagers per um, lesson, which I never really did before, but I feel like you do need a really quick, quick reference when you're looking at EKGs. And then I made a beautiful binder. Look at her, she's gorgeous. I have all of the sections and I even have my, um, I think I have, yeah, these are my online meta little whiteboard notes and I put them in each one. Like I can like gastro, Oops, that's just paper, whatever. Gastro and then I see my little notes. So far I've only done online meta stuff for step two, but I'm so happy that it's organized. Always try to add a little bit of humor into my notes. I don't really know anyone else who does this, but I love listening to ASMR while I study. It doesn't look depressing outside anymore. Yay! Alrighty, so my brain now hurts, so I'm going to take a little break. I'm going to watch my little podcast, and I'm going to eat my... Hmm, eat my... <laughs> It's vegan beefless tips, which sounds terrible, but it's really good. It's now about 3.20. I usually start around 10-ish, just because that's when the class starts, and then I go until about 7 or so. That's usually when I get everything done, and I don't really have much to study for it, like an outside test or anything, like usually medical students study more than they have to, I guess, because they have shelves coming up or they have the step two, step one, but I'm in kind of a weird limbo space where I'm not going to take step for quite a long time. I mean, I can start studying, but I have a feeling I'm going to start forgetting as well. So I'm just trying to do some questions, but I'm not really trying to stress about it because a lot of times when I try to shove stuff into my brain, I just end up forgetting it. So Let's go pick up my stuff. It's going to be fruits and veggies.
like it because I feel like they send you the like ugly ones, quote unquote. They're usually very nice, but they send you the ones that they had too much at the grocery store or something. And I like it. It's not <laughs> definitely not an ad. I am way too not cool for that. But I feel like it makes me eat more good things. Yay. So I've gone through a good majority of the stuff I need to get done today, whoop whoop. So I got majority of the stuff I wanted to do today done. Um, I got all of, <laughs> we had to do quiz, two, I had to do two quizzes, two simulations, a practice test, I had to do the two, I had to do one lecture that was like in person, I had to do two lect other lectures and just a lot, a lot. So now I think I'm gonna finish off the day with learning some medical Spanish because I really wanna hone in on that. So that'll be the end of today. I have my chickpeas going. I love this Instant Pot. It's the only reason that I'm still able to eat. And I always use that thing for tea. I'm just gonna watch some stuff and eat some dinner, take a bath, and read some medical Spanish. <laughs> 